a newly approved technology called NICOM, or non-evasive cardiac output monitor, is giving doctors and other technicians a window to the heart. This technology, developed by Cheetah Medical, provides accurate, clinically useful, and cost-effective data on cardiac output, which is very simply stated the measure of the ability of the heart to work efficiently and is key to diagnosing heart failure. Monitoring of cardiac output forms one of the key measurements that we rely on to make an appropriate diagnosis and know whether we should be giving fluids, whether we should be giving drugs that help the arteries, whether we should be giving drugs that help the heart to beat stronger or to beat slower or to beat faster. This innovative device not only helps in the diagnosis, but also in the monitoring and management of heart conditions using simple non-invasive devices. And with heart-related illnesses ranking as one of the top reasons for hospitalizations worldwide, its introduction could not be more timely. Existing technologies can uh, enable uh, either very accurate cardiac output monitoring, uh, albeit very invasive, using invasive catheters that have to be inserted through, for example, the central vein of uh, the patient's neck. Because of the invasive nature of Swan-Gans catheter, their use is restricted to highly specialized clinical units, such as intensive care units, operating rooms. That means that clinicians in other settings do not have the information that is available from those modalities to help in the care of their patients in less critical care settings. There are also less invasive means that uh, have, uh, for the most part, disappointed in terms of their accuracy uh, as compared to these invasive tests that are considered the gold standard. Uh, we believe that the NICOM offers uh, superior accuracy without paying the price uh, from the clinical and economic standpoint of using invasive uh, tests. Examples of places where Swan-Gans catheters are not available, where the NICOM system would be very useful, include patients in the emergency room, patients in dialysis units, patients in the uh, physician's uh, office, and even patients uh, at, at their home who can monitor themselves and then transmit that information back to their physician's office so that they can help in the management of their disease without them having to come back to the hospital. Whenever you can have a test uh, that's non-intrusive, that you can get in and out of the hospital in an hour or two, not intrude upon your work day, and find yourself back at work in the afternoon is a good thing. Consequently, cardiac output monitoring is still out of reach for most clinicians and their patients suffering from chronic as well as acute conditions. In, out, in, excellent. There are many tests that our patients go through. Um, I'm, of course, biased to the cardiac uh, pulmonary test, mainly because it really shows what a patient can do when you add a little stress to them. Yeah. The cheetah has actually been very beneficial with that. It also shows the EKG on the machine. So we're actually able to see how the heart is paced and working. It's obvious and significant uh, distinction to this particular device that can measure the output non-invasively both at rest and with exercise with some simple stickers that are placed on the back. Doesn't require a, a puncture of a vein, doesn't require any injection of any cold water into the heart to measure essentially how blood is flowing. It does the entire process again non-invasively by measuring electrical impulses that are sent through the body and then their uh, changes in their voltage and changes in their um, amplitude and as well their um, frequency is measured by the device. Correlates very nicely with the cardiac output. We're getting a lot of uh, interest from uh, pediatric uh, cardiologists and pediatric uh, cardiothoracic surgeons. Uh, these patients uh, usually come in uh, once a year, uh, even after they're treated for monitoring, and again, oftentimes require invasive testing. And anything that you could do in that uh, special patient population to reduce invasive tests is obviously. Uh, a major step. The promise of this new, highly accurate, non-invasive cardiac output monitoring technology is not only a bright window to the heart, it is an opening door to the future of healthcare for every beat, every patient, everywhere you need cardiac function. This is Rory Fielding for Fast Focus on Medicine.